This is wildlife biologist Eric Orff with my New Hampshire YouTube channel. This afternoon, September 31st, 2020, I am up in Twin Mountain, New Hampshire at the Twin Mountain Hatchery and I am going to live, relive a particular day that dates back to October 18th, 1988, so nearly 32 years ago. It was that here at the Twin Mountain Hatchery in Twin Mountain, New Hampshire that the very first moose was in the first moose hunting season since 1901 occurred and the very first moose was registered here after 87 years of there being no moose hunting in New Hampshire. By the early 80s, mid 80s, the moose population had come back in significant numbers and uh, the fishing, New Hampshire Fishing Game Department uh, was authorized to conduct a moose, a moose hunt and Chris Rhines, the moose biologist, uh, had been researching and studying moose for several years and it was determined that we could have our very first moose hunting season after 87 years of closure and that occurred on October 18th, 1988 and just so happens the very first moose to be re registered came into this station and I happened to be supervising that effort here at the time. We had myself, I think Murray Fay, a couple of CEOs or game wardens, I, I think it's Bruce Bonifant, but I, I am remiss, I did not write it down in my diary. But I have here, it was cloudy and windy, uh, and so I so said I arrived here at 7.30 in the morning and set up. There were a lot of reporters here, and there was a small gathering of, uh, of uh, people that were protesting the moose hunt, and there were actually only four of them. There were three TV stations. I got Channel 9, Fred, Fred, Fred Letary, Channel 21, and Channel 7 out of Boston, uh, no, a number of newspaper reporters. So the way I remember that morning, it was quite of a cool October morning, even cool for October, quite chilly as I recall. So we had a number of reporters, and this room is not very big. It was kind of the, kind of the office at the time. It's now been turned into storage all these years later. And I remember there was a, a little heater going on in the corner. And somehow I had scored some moose uh, from a roadkill moose and had a moose stew going in the corner and a crock pot. So the morning wore on and the, the protesters were out there and the, the press were mostly outside because this, this room was what? Not very big and there was half a dozen of our staff in here. And uh, so not a lot of room, so the reporters kind of milled in and out and waiting for the moose. Well, we got report that a moose was down here in town, in fact, not very far from the hatchery itself. But uh, we, we later, later learned that uh, the hunters got it early and it was a cow and it was cut up and to be brought out. But in the meantime, they lost the keys to their vehicle. So... <laughs> So they couldn't bring it in to have it checked because their truck, they had the moose out to the side of the road here on Route 3, but uh, and a cow that was in quarters, so it wasn't, wouldn't be the best scene for these reporters and t television cameras. But lo and behold, at 12.45 we had a moose, at uh, 12.15. What a rush, I wrote, and it was an eight-point bull, six and a half years old, weighed 602 pounds, was killed by Bill Chapman. Here is a picture of Bill Chapman from the newspaper article that I have saved all these years from that particular day. And so let me tell you further about what went on. So it was a big hubbub. The reporters all you know, interviewed him and the TV stations interviewed him. But just before, before he came, he came at 12.15, by 11 o'clock, we were all kind of getting hungry. And uh, I remember there was one reporter out of New York City for, I think, ABC News. And uh, so I had that crock pot full of hot moose stew, and I brought some cups and spoons. So I began dishing out the moose stew, and in comes the reporter from New York who claimed to be a vegetarian. 
Uh, she definitely wanted to try some new stew, and she did, and she really liked it. So, uh, by I think ser my serendipitous life, <laughs> it has been, uh, uh, I had scored some moose for a moose stew, and, and what a hit that was with the reporters, with everybody that was here, that I shared it with, and the stories came out in the paper and on TV, very favorable for the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department, very favorable for the hunters. Sure, they did interview the people that were opposing uh, the, the hunt. In fact, I'd gone out a couple of times to say it was a cold day. I just wanted to check on them, say I was kind of overseeing the operation here. So I kind of felt it my duty to check on them and, you know, let them know there was a bathroom here if they needed it. Uh, did not invite them in for moose stew, however. And, uh, and you know, of course, as soon as the TV cameras and the reporters left, so did they. So did they. So, and, uh, and it was really a positive, very positive day. So thank you. Uh, thank you for bringing that moose in here, Bill Chapman. Uh, we're bringing that moose in. Chap in, I got here. He was from Kentucky, New Hampshire. Oh, and the story is also, Bill said that his grandfather hunted moose in the early 1900s, so 1901. He remembers his grandfather telling him stories about hunting moose. I think he was a, a stockbroker from, uh, from, uh, from Manchester, as I recall. A very well-spoken individual. Bill Chapin, thank you very much for an awesome job getting a wonderful bull moose and bringing it in and uh, having the very first moose checked in after 87 years of closure, brought right in here to the New Hampshire Fishing Game Twin Mountain Hatchery. I have often stopped at this hatchery over the years, uh, checked on the, you know, the folks working here and they were a big help in weighing in those moose. The staff jumped right in as they always have to help out anybody in need, so uh, awesome camaraderie uh, during the moose checking time that I had here. Several years, that was just the first year, 88. I know I was here for, for a half dozen years afterwards. Uh, so a great day checking in the very first moose 32 years ago almost here at the Twin Mountain Hatchery. And uh, <laughs> wonderful memories uh, of the days that I checked checked in moose and the very very first one here October 18th 1988 at the Twin Mountain Hatchery very enjoyable awesome awesome thank you